to us what's happening with the marathon. So we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Cellcom Green Bay Marathon. And this is gonna be the last Cellcom Green Bay Marathon. Um, it's been such an exciting run. Um, we have, you know, everything that we set out to do, we feel like we've done. We wanted to create this, this event that could drive community spirit, that could celebrate people's personal victories uh, and give money back to local charities. And we've given almost $2 million back to local charities. And so we feel like it's, it's time. We have new initiatives that we want to do and new ways to support the, co uh, the communities. And we're looking forward to those. Um, so this isn't related to participation or anything like that? No, um, we, you know, we just, 25 years is a good time. Um, and so that's, that's, ki that's kind of been in, in the back of my mind the whole time is 25 years seems like a good time. There are other places to um, invest in the communities. Well, this wasn't a change that was forced upon you. This was a, a strategic decision by you. Guys. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, how would it have been forced upon us? I don't even no, know I how mean, that would go. <laughs> I no, no, I don't mean outside, but I'm like just thinking, oh, this isn't going to work or we can't pull this off because of this, that, or other. This is just you guys deciding to uh, to go in a different direction then? Oh yeah, we, we've been so fully supportive of the marathon since the beginning. Um, yeah, in the beginning, there were, uh, it was tough to make ends meet and so Cellcom and its sponsors would chip in more. We've done that various years. We've always committed to giving back to um, participants, but um, it has nothing to do with that. We could, we could keep, keep running for forever, but we wanna do different stuff. And we've, we've got some really great um, ideas about what we can do for the local environment and that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, I like change. <laughs> yeah. And can you give us an indication of what some of those future things might be? Yeah, so we have been, you know, there's so much you can do with sensor technology now. And so we have really been investing in, uh, you know, putting sensors in the bay, uh, partnering with uh, UW Green Bay and um, studying the water quality and the, um, you know, animal habitats and that kind of thing, we really want to go more into that because we look at, you know, fresh water and the ecosystems just become more and more important. I mean, even if we look at losing electricity and how much that plays into people's lives, we want to look at how can our technology better, the, you know, the Great Lakes um, environment and what more can we do with our infrastructure, with um, the Internet of Things, so. Uh, do you think that, that the marathon may continue in some different form with other sponsors or other? It might, and and if it does, we would we would be we would continue to be cheering on the on the streets. Um, we've loved this event. If there's someone who wants to carry the torch into its next era, that would be fantastic. And we would certainly even continue to help and and uh, be participants and certainly be cheering for them. The charities that you're helping this year, Feeding America and the new community shelter, um, how did you come to pick those two and uh, how are you anticipating helping them with uh, this year's marathon? So, we, you know, one of the things we've, we've, <coughs> we've rotated charities each year, we had a three year rotation um, and, and uh, we did this so that we could spread, kind of spread the love of, of marathon proceeds. Um, and this year we just think that uh, New Community was an, kind of one of the original beneficiaries, so it's sort of come full circle, and they were a great partner. And then um, Feeding America is just uh, something that we've really gotten behind just as a company recently. They've done so much good for the area. And so we think they're, they're two great charities to, to, um, to kind of do the finale with. So. Have you guys heard from runners <laughs> who have participated uh, over the years um, about, uh, about you know, bringing it to a close? Are they sad to see it go? Well, um, we're just announcing it today, but here's what I would say. Um, I know that the Cellcom Green Bay Marathon is near and dear to so many people's hearts. I think it's, it's changed lives. It's added programs that were needed um, at local charities um, to help people. And so I, I know that there's so much love for it. And so I think, think it will be hard um, for some people, but um, you know, we have to evolve with everything that's new and changing, and we're still going to be here supporting everything that these communities do um, in, in a variety of different fashions. Do you have anything planned to make this look kind of special with it being the last dance? 
I've thought about I'm not the fastest runner and so I kind of want to I kind of want us to be the final finishers you know we don't ever want anybody to finish last I'm good with finishing last this year and just kind of um, give it the respect that it deserves and and how many people it's taken from from the media to the sponsors people have really bent over backwards we have some volunteers that have been with us for 25 years and have given so much of themselves to make this great and uh, it's been beautiful to be a part of anticipating a big turnout this year for uh, runners to give it for one more go i think after your uh your news stories run yes <laughs> i think i think there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna say you know this event changed my life I want to be there as it reaches its culmination um, because it did so many things for me and I want to I want to cross that finish line one more time. We want to do that. What's up? We want people to do that. Yes, we, we do. Come out. Come out. We want everybody there. <laughs>